Wow, cool lizard. But what is it? When you live in Australia, cool and unusual animals are basically everywhere. Whether you travel in the outback, snorkel at the beach, bushwalk in the forest, or just notice an interesting animal in a nearby park, knowing what it is can be interesting and sometimes important. Wildlife ID is perfect for any of these uses. Take this bird, finding your guidebook and then finding this bird in it could take 10 minutes. But with Wildlife ID, well it's obviously a bird, and obviously a parrot. Its colours are striking, red and blue. Results are always sorted by likelihood. Scroll right, and there it is. But colourful birds are easy. How about fish? Select new search, that clears all values. Type equals fish. There are subtypes, but let's just choose all fish. Colours, grey, yellow and black. Let's add dimensions, length, width and height. They're all optional. Note the guides for what you are measuring. These will only appear if you've chosen an animal type first. And it's closed, but not quite. Try the clever search similar button. Got it. How about an insect? Again, select new search. Type equals insect. Subtype equals butterfly or moth. But I'm not sure which. So let's just search all of them. Colour equals white. Bingo. And this time I didn't even need the size information. Now here's an interesting one. A shy bird that lives in an unusual nest. New search. Type equals bird. I can't even see its colours. Let's use free text. Mud nest might help. Fairy martin perhaps. An internet search is only a click away. The default search is the scientific name. That looks familiar. Fairy martin it is. Free text descriptions are really helpful. See the faint dots on the shark? Let's try using that. New search. Let's do the text first. Dots. Type equals fish. Subtype equals shark. Amazing. This lizard at least will sit still. That'll make it easier. New search again. Colors equals gray and black. Type equals reptile. Uh, subtype equals lizard. Uh, not sure on the sub subtype. So let's search all lizards. One scroll. And there he is. Now here's a common bird. Don't forget new search to clear all the lizard stuff. Type equals bird. You can choose up to three colors. Primary white, secondary color black. There's a lot of white and black birds though. Let's add the curved beak information. Takes us straight to him. I think you're getting it. Let's try a few more. It's a yellow and black fish. The thin upright shape and, and the black dot would all help, but they're probably not needed. Okay, let's do one last bird. Now not all the searches are as easy as the ones I've shown you here. You might need several different ways to track an animal down. After all, there are over 2,000 birds, fish, insects, reptiles, nudibranchs, crabs, spiders, etc. to get through. And there are some animals with photos missing. Be sure to use search similar as well. It can help save a lot of time. But like a book, just browsing is fun too. How many black and red animals are there? Well, quite a lot as it turns out. And when it runs out of black and red animals, Wildlife ID's list will be just the black ones, and then just the red ones. The search terms you enter are not all that Wildlife ID will use, it just helps adjust the priority. Wildlife ID Australia is easy to use and comprehensive. You'll be impressing your children, family and friends in no time. Check it out on the Google Play Store now.